Hi everyone. So this is the APM tutorial session three. In this tutorial, we will be looking into how to find the app package and app activity of the application we are going to test. Okay. So the agenda for today, app package and app activity. There are two ways we can find the app package and app activity through the CMD ADB shell command and through the APK. So let's have a look into it. Okay. okay so guys, let me show you how to find the app package and app. App activity for our uh, application that we are going to test. So, if you are going to test your automate any applications, so in the before class or in the before method, you have to provide the particular app activity and package details. Okay. So, for that, we are uh, for my calculator. This is a simple calculator native app that I have going to automate. That I have, uh, you can see that in the before class, I have provided the device name that is Android device. UDID you can also provide but not required if you provide the device name. Common timeout 120 given and the main things app package and app activity there. which app I'm going to operate are given okay. And the platform name Android version of these things we have to provide. So in this tutorial I will be looking into the finding the app package and app activity okay. So for this guys first you have to launch uh, I have, uh, using my Mobizen uh, mirroring okay. So you can see the device this is my actual real real device that has been displayed here. Okay, make sure before you connecting your uh, USB debugging mode should be on, and it's a very good and pretty much uh, more user interactive. I can say you can operate anything remotely from your PC. So anything that the device is connected, anything you can operate. Okay, so let me take the first open my um, command prompt. Okay, so I have started the ADB server. Um, let me see first ADB. So my ADB server server has already been started and after that connected my device successfully. Okay, so I don't have to start my server again. By default, the ADB will start at uh, ADB 5037. Okay, if I kill my server and if you start it, you will be able to see the ADB. If I kill it, ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge. If I kill my server, then my device will get turned off. I need to start my server again. I will reconnect. So daemon has been started on the port TC5037. This is a default port for ADB. Now let me reconnect again my mobile. It's uh, taking time to get connected. Okay, okay, so it got connected. Okay, now I'm going to find the app package and the app activity. So let me show you for one simple app like the brightness level. This is a native app, or you can pick any of the Amazon app, any app. Okay. So for brightness, let me show you the app uh, uh, package and activity. How we can find that? So first way I will be showing to find that it is like in the ADB shell command. Okay. So for that we need to open the app. So we have already opened the app in my real devices. That is the app. We can set the brightness. And in the common, I have to provide a DB shell. And here we need to pass okay. So So guys, we can see that in that ADB cell command I'm passing as a dump C's window, windows, great VM current focus. So this app select brightness level, this app is currently now in focus. So clicking on the enter, invalid argument, let me provide this again. Okay, uh, 
so we can see that for this app that select button is available it's uh, giving us the info about the package and the app activity of this app okay so here we can find that com dot that widget uh, that brightness level this is the first option this is the app package and the com dot brightness level brightness select this is the app activity if you make it full screen it will be easier okay this is this one is uh, my activity and this one is my package now let me find uh, another app okay let me find for Okay, let me find for Amazon shopping. So I'm writing the person the same comment, not this one. Okay, so for the Amazon app that opened in my device right now, we can see that a package name it. Package name is in Amazon M Shop dot Android dot Shopping. This is the app package name, and com Amazon dot M Shop Home dot Web dot M Shop Web create activity. This is a package app activity name. Okay, so if you are going to operate any kind of operations, the automations in that uh, Amazon app. So you have to mention in the before method here before class that app package name and app activity name as a as a uh, your uh, mobile capability okay mobile capability so now as of now we have seen to find the way of finding the app package and activity through the command prompt now let me show you another way like you can find the same uh, from your device itself for that you have to install your uh, one simple APK file for Android is the APK info. If you install that file in your device, so just open that. Opening the device will find all the list of application that has been installed. So let me open for Amazon shopping. Click and hold for a few seconds, and overlay will come. You click on the detailed information. Okay, so this APK info app will list you the, all the information of the app. Okay, that has been opened. We are going to check. So let me join it again. Okay, I think now it's visible quite right. So in the APK path, you can see that where the Amazon app is installed, it's showing us the path. Inside that path, we can see in in dot amazon dot mshop dot android shopping is a hyphen d hyphen two slash base dot apk is showing the path inside that part this is the package name okay in dot amazon starting from and ending with the dot shopping the same thing we have observed in the command prompt okay this is the package name and following the request permissions lots of request permission there and then request feature gyd in the activity section we can see there is lots and lots of activities are listed okay so you have to pick your particular activity that you are going to automate okay so uh, for our case what we have found in the amazon app what you opened we have found this m shop gateway activity so we can also found the same here Here we found that Amazon M Shop dot Home dot uh, uh, Web Gateway Secondary Activity, and okay. I mean, this way you have to you, you can you can also found the uh, app activity details uh, using the APK info. But better, I will suggest uh, if you don't want to use that, just uh, write a simple command uh, M current focus command in the DB shell. We'll get the information of whatever the app uh, package and whatever the app activity. Make sure you opened your app, but that will be in focus. Okay, if you are utilizing the command prompt. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Uh, so let me know if you find if, if you if you have any issue, find the app package and the activity. Okay, so thank you for watching.